Sure, so I'm going to be talking about magma ocean events, basically how the Earth evolved in the aftermath of a, the moon forming impact from a big ball of magma ocean to its present day state. I'm going to be talking about using isotope tracers and how we can use them to kind of unravel processes taking place a really long time ago, sort of within the first kind of 50 to 500 million years of the solar system. So it's really trying to look very far back in time. So I think they provide a mechanism to kind of stitch that community together. They provide a mechanism for people to learn from each other, whether that's finding out about new discoveries or whether that's finding out that everybody is experiencing the same problems that you are. I think that's incredibly useful. Obviously, you can see the latest developments, but sometimes it's also just nice to see how people individually are coping with different challenges. So I would really say talk to people. Use this meeting to build your you know, use this meeting to build your connections. I'd say sure, you know, go and see talks, go and see posters, but if you're in the middle of a fantastic science conversation with someone that you've just met, you know, don't run off, just enjoy the conversation. You can always watch the talk later, you can always read the paper later, but really build your connections. Mm -hmm.